Complete the ordered pair. So they give us two ordered pairs. There's the first one, there's the second one. And they want us to complete it. So you see in this first ordered pair, they're giving me the y, but they're not giving me the x. I need to find the x. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take this y and I'm gonna plug it in right there for y. And then I'll have to find out what x is. And for the second ordered pair, they give me the x, but they don't give me the y. So for the second ordered pair, I'll take negative 13, and I'll plug it in right here for x, and then I'll solve for the y. So this is really two different problems. Okay, let's do it. x minus 4y equals 3. Okay, and what am I going to put in for y? I'll put in a 3 right there. So I have x minus 4 times 3 is 12 equals 3. And then one step to get the x by itself, to get rid of a minus 12, I will add 12 to both sides. And x equals 3 plus 12 is 15. So I have completed this ordered pair. This ordered pair right here is 15, 3. And this is a point on this line. All right. Let's complete the ordered pair over here on the right. So my equation is x minus 4y equals 3 x minus 4y equals 3. And what am I going to plug in for x? Plug in negative 13. So I have negative 13 minus 4y equals 3. And then I use my steps of solving a linear equation to get grumpy old x all by herself. First, I'm going to get rid of the minus 13. So I'll add 13 to both sides. And that way, negative 13 plus 13 is 0. So now I have negative 4y. Don't forget that negative. Equals 3 plus 13 is 16. Okay, one more step to get grumpy old y all by herself. Divide by a negative. Yep, divide both sides by negative 4. Negative 4 over negative 4 is just 1. So y equals 16 over negative 4. Put that in your calculator. Negative 4. Okay, so to complete this ordered pair right here, if x is negative 13, y is negative 4. And this is another point on this line. 